Hi Aries, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. It'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, thank you for all your support. Thank you to all the new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings. Those that bless me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated, so thank you, thank you. All your support really means a lot to me, and I really, truly love to do this for you guys. And thank you for being a part of the channel and the channel's growth, and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Aries, Love Connection, reading for November. Now, this can be any type of connection that you have in mind right now, anybody you have in mind has to be an actual connection so either maybe you you know kind of like each other or you're dating or you're wondering about an ex or you're separated married whatever it has to be actual um connection and this person has to be aware of who you are in some way okay so i hope everybody's doing well happy november happy fall aries so this is zodiac oracle see what comes out if you don't resonate with what comes out here totally fine sort of a little extra bonus get a sign element or planet energy and we'll see how that plays into your reading well we got one right away so let's see what we have for you aries venus and that's the planet of love this is libra or virgo so you could be dealing with a libra or a virgo if not or they could have that somewhere in your chart their chart this definitely is about love venus is the planet of love so love emotions feelings all right so this is a love reading so definitely there is love here in some way aries let's get an overall love connection energy between you and your person see what's going on for you aries let's get an overall love connection energy between aries and their person what is the love connection energy between Aries and their person spirit at this time, who they're thinking of. We have one card. Thank you so much. One card for Aries and their person. Oh, okay. And we have vibration. Hmm. Number 14, which is five. If five is about change. So vibration is like your frequency, you know, what you're uh, vibrating at. So I feel like you're vibrating either you at a very high level, realizing this is love here and maybe your person too. So you co both could be vibrating at a very high level here, realizing that this is a love situation between the two of you. And you see this uh, fairy angel, whatever she is, rising above everything here butterflies for transformation so yeah i think i think this is a high vibration love connection here for you aries all right so aries what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna pick one for you how you're uh feeling about your person in the connection one for them how they're feeling about you in the connection i'll put you here your person here but if any time you feel like the roles are reversed Anytime throughout the reading, please flip-flop, switch the energies any way you see fit. Something doesn't resonate, it's not for you. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. This is a general re collective reading. It's not a personal reading, so keep that in mind. All right, so Aries. Can we get one for Aries? How are they feeling about this person and this connection? I'm going to take that one. And then we'll get one for Aries person. How are they feeling about Aries in this connection? One for them, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Can we have one? That one. All right, Aries, how are you feeling? We have unexpected. So this is about something unexpected. And we have eight and four, which is 12, which is three, which is coming together, working together, um, teamwork, collaboration, reuniting celebrating kind of energies very social number so you could have unexpectedly met this person sorry about the glare um out you know just out socializing maybe even at work or something like that and it was a very very unexpected connection here and let's see how your person's feeling kindness so kindness here and we have 10 which is about an ending but then one 
goes to one, which is a new beginning. So they may have showed you some sort of act of kindness, which triggered an unexpected uh, reaction in you to them or vice versa. Maybe you uh, reached out with some sort of act of kindness to them. Um, but I'm getting that they reached out to you with some sort of act of kindness that was unexpected on your part, which all of a sudden caused this like high vibration frequency. You see the rainbow there of like a connection, like unexpectedly. And it changed. I mean, this could be someone you already know. Maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a friend, maybe, or something like that. And all of a sudden you saw them in a different light. You know, maybe you were just out socializing with friends, a group of friends, something happened. And it was like, boom, it sparked like this whole new way that you looked at each other. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Flow. So eight, and eight is all about action, communication, travel, movement. So this is about just going with the flow, you know, just seeing what happens, just going with it, you know, not fighting it, ebbs and flows, and just going with it, going with the flow. Let things flow naturally. Let things transform naturally here with the butterflies. So yeah, what I'm getting is just to let unfold, things unfold naturally. Just kind of go with the flow, see where it goes, see what happens. But I feel like it's a very high vibration connection already. And love there with Venus definitely is about love. I mean, that is a Libra or a Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. All right, so let me put those there. Let's, let's see. Let's clarify with tarot. See what's going on. The Aries for November love connection. Please, spirit, let's put the tarot in order to give Aries the reading that they need to hear for November for this love connection. All right, Spirit, please. Can we get one card for unexpected for Aries? Why is that here in this love connection? The moon. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Cancer or Pisces. Doesn't have to be. So this is like, you know, secrets being revealed. Um, trusting your gut, your intuition. Um, not knowing all the facts or not seeing things clearly. So, yeah, I definitely feel like that moon energy was definitely something here unexpected. It was like, you know, like this light shining down of like this unexpected new connection, like showing its light and you're like, wow, where did this come from? You know, like feeling a little confused about it also. It's like the universe shining down its light saying, yep, this is, you know, somebody meant to be on your path. So let's see for kindness. No, I don't feel comfortable taking that. Okay, so Spirit, why is kindness here for Aries person? Why I, are they in the energy of kindness, Leo's person, the chariot? So, and I and this is about forward movement. So I do feel like, and this is Cancer, it doesn't have to be. So I do feel like they took some sort of forward movement towards you. Um you know, this is all about success, victory, going after what you want, a lot of drive, ambition, and balance. But I feel like, but it's also about movement forward. So I definitely feel like here they took some kind of movement towards you and some sort of act of kindness, which maybe you didn't understand at first why they did what they did with the moon energy there. It was like very unexpected. Um, maybe you guys didn't even see eye to eye before. Maybe you weren't, maybe, I mean, you didn't even really like each other or maybe you couldn't even stand this person. And now all of a sudden it's like the moon shedding a whole new light on this person in the connection. And you're like confused, like, wow, what the heck's going on here? This is like changing everything. And I'm now I'm feeling like totally different about this person. The whole vibration change between the two of you. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the moon for you, Aries, the night of one. So fire energy here doesn't have to be Leo, Sag, Aries. Well, that's your energy. So yeah, now you're like wanting to take action. This is like taking action, moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition, um, and passion. So it's now, it's now it's like you're wanting to move towards this person. It's like you're feeling a lot of passion for them all of a sudden. 
seeing things differently and like you really want to move forward to this person. The Knight of Wands can be a player in and out energy or just like a one night stand type of thing. But maybe now you're starting to feel all this sexual energy towards this person. It's kind of unexpected and leaving you a little bit confused with the moon energy is what I'm getting. And it's a very high vibration. So it's a very strong feeling. It's like the Knight of Wands, like, why do I want this person so much all of a sudden? It's like, I really want to, you know, have some sort of encounter with them. I don't know. So let's see, why does your person have the chariot here for kindness? I have one card for them. The Magician. So this is um, Gemini Virgo, but doesn't have to be. So yeah, this is about a brand new beginning here, uh, manifesting a brand new beginning. So maybe they all of a sudden maybe they saw you in a different light before you saw them and now it's like you know what i think i'm going to move towards this person something all of a sudden is attracting me to them and now i want to move towards them and i want to manifest some sort of new beginning with this person this is definitely a manifestation card of manifesting a brand new beginning uh, being you know open honest and truthful passionate stable loving compassionate energy and using all those tools moving forward so and this is moving forward Hmm. Okay. So I feel very unexpected energy there. Like all of a sudden seeing each other and the total um, three swords energy here for uh, your actual situation. The Wheel of Fortune. Let's get one more for your actual situation. Injustice. Okay, so uh, for the actual situation coming in on your side is the Three of Swords. This is, you know, pain, heart, heartache, a painful situation, something that hurts your heart. Can sometimes think of, uh, speak of a third party sort of energy. I'm just trying to get the message here. I'm not sensing like third party though, but maybe they did something in the past before that wasn't so kind to you. Maybe they said something, did something and it really hurt your heart. Um, even if it wasn't because you liked them and they did something that hurt you, maybe it was just something that you didn't like what they, something they had did in the past and it really, you felt was very, you know, hurtful. Again, it could have been something they said or something they did. And maybe that's why they came forward with an act of kindness, just kind of like maybe even apologize or just kind of apologizing in their own way by doing something kind for you that was very unexpected on your part. And now, yeah, because we have justice on their side, which is Libra, it doesn't have to be. So I think they knew they had to balance out the scales. They had to bring truth and clarity, apology or something like that. So they manifested this movement forward to bring justice back into your connection, whether you were just friends before, co-workers, neighbors, I don't know, whatever they did, I feel like it's something they had did in the past that they finally realized wasn't right. So they came forward and manifested some sort of apology act of kindness to bring balance and justice into the situation. Say, no, you were hurt by what happened. But you got the Knight of Wands there. So you were like, wow, wow, this is unexpected. I never expected this. And now it's like, you feel like a whole different way about them. Because right in the middle, connecting the two of you is the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius energy. So this is divine timing, things going in a better direction, things going in the right direction, um, fate, destiny, you know, abundance, all, you know, good luck, fortune. So I think, you know, destiny and fate here is at play and bring in all this whole situation together. So whatever happened in the past was probably meant, this is something that was meant to happen, meant to be. So whatever happened in the past was meant to happen, even though you might've been hurt by that, but it was divine's plan to bring the two of you together because now I think they felt badly over that situation and they move forward towards you with some sort of uh, validation or justice, apology, something to try to even out the situation which now brought, you know, the Wheel of Fortune brought you together and now seeing each other in, in a different light and a higher vibration and like now kind of like in a different 
um, light, maybe even, you know, liking each other now, like, hmm, like, wow, what's going on here? Like seeing each other in a different light. So the page of swords, yep. And the four of wands, wow. So, so yeah, the page of swords can talk about, you know, communication, uh, you know, open, honest, truthful communication, um, messages could be, you know, spying on each other could be looking at each other's social, social media. And this also could be, you know, with the swords can be some, maybe like a cutting message or maybe I think they said something to you with this page of swords here that hurt you and they knew that. And then they came in and they made the situation right. And now you're seeing each other in the four of wands. Wow. This is like a stable commitment, a stable, um, even if it's friendship or commitment or, um, like now you're starting to date. This is about ceremonies, um, celebrations, commitment of some kind, stable, stable connection now. So I think it stabilized the connection. Whatever happened was meant to happen. And now whatever's unfolding was meant to be, which is stabilizing the connection. I think the connection now is in a much higher vibration. It's going more in the vibration of love between the two of you, which I feel was very unexpected. So let's get your advice, Aries, in this connection. The Eight of Wands is a passionate communication. Your energy, Leo Sag Aries, that's that passionate communication, movement, travel. Could, be, could have been the apologies coming in. Are you accepting this communication, these apologies, this movement forward? And the Queen of Swords. So. Whenever I get the Queen of Swords, it always kind of reminds me of divine energy. And it's right on, the, both these cards are right on justice, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, the Eight of Swords, Wands, I feel like it's coming out of this Three of Swords energy. It's that passionate action movement forward, communication, messages back and forth. You see two wands there on fire. So I feel like now you're like on fire towards one another. You know, the Queen of Swords can talk about um, your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be, but it talks about, you know, having clear, honest, open communication, uh, truth, clarity, uh, seeing things for what they are, cutting away things no longer serving, standing up, not taking BS. I just feel like your advice is to see things, you know, and you see this gesture of this man offering his hand to this lady can be male, female, female, whatever the energies are, it doesn't matter. But someone offering out a hand, a hand of like apology. And here's that passionate communication. And your advice is to accept it, to accept this offer, this communication. So let's get uh, a couple clarifiers. <laughs> now we got the King of Swords. So now we have divine counterparts here. So I do think here that this is a soulmate energy divine counterparts with the king and queen of swords same energy as the queen sometimes the king can be a little cold and cutting with their tongue whether it's male female whether it's you or them and this is under that page so i definitely feel like they they did something or said something to you that was like uncalled for unnecessary maybe they were in a bad mood you caught them at a bad moment and they like snapped on you and now things are going in like in a whole different direction a whole different direction because what do we have now here is the sun, which is Leo energy, doesn't have to be. Happiness, joy, success, happy home and family, growth, um, abundance, victory, healing, enlightenment, the whole nine yards. Totally positive card here. So I feel like accepting their hand, accepting what they have to offer, their communication. You know, king, queen of swords, divine counterparts here. Swords are all about communication truth and clarity will bring in such happiness and joy in the situation. And the sun here does talk about, you know, soulmates, lovers, possibly even twin flames coming together. Wow. Okay. So let's see if you accept their apology, if you accept, you know, their movement forward towards you, as long as you know, there's truth and clarity on the whole situation with this communication. What will be the possible outcome? The Six of Swords. So there you go. Wow. 
air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is moving together. You see these two moving together, healing from the past, leaving all the BS behind from the past, and moving forward together with peace, harmony, and balance in a more healed direction. So go definitely going in a more balanced, healed direction, leaving all the BS behind that you don't need, and just moving forward with any with everything that you do need and leaving the rest behind leaving all whatever happened in the in the past behind let bygones be bygones and moving together with peace harmony and balance in this happiness and joy enlightenment of the sun energy so let's get two more that's too many two more for your possible outcome the four of pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So, yeah, I think the Four of Pentacles here, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. And so isn't the Knight of Pentacles. So possible outcome here is the Four of Pentacles. This is an energy of letting go, of not willing to let go, but like holding on to something, but also not letting go of something. So, or not, you know, willing to give to something either. So, and you see, again, the two hands like reaching out to one another so I think when they finally you know if they've been holding back or you've been holding back that someone's wanting to give here someone's wanting to give but someone's holding back but the knight here comes forward with a very honest um, offer it's slow moving can be slow moving this could be your energy it's very slow moving to accept this offer like you're kind of holding back but this is stable, it's secure, it's well-grounded, wanting to build for the long term, for the long haul. Pentacles usually come and they don't leave, they stay, and they want to build long term, a firm foundation. So the possible outcome here is I think, you know, you can move forward with this person in a more healed, balanced direction together. You know, slow moving, you know, maybe taking it very slow, gradually building, moving forward very slow. You know, I see you kind of hesitant to accept their offer, but the offer is here. Very stable, secure offer is here for you if you choose to accept it and let bygones be bygones. And under the um, deck here, we have the hangman in reverse. Is my deck in upside down? Oh, what's going on? Oh. <sighs> I guess it's in my deck is in reverse. Ah, okay, I guess it's just this card in reverse. So I don't know how they got reversed, but yeah, the hangman here is about, you know, hanging back for a while, seeing everything from a different perspective and just going with the flow as we had flow here. The hangman just goes with the flow, but now you're in, it's in reverse. So now it's about just stepping out of that pause and that stagnant energy and starting to move forward after, you know, evaluating the situation so moving forward out of that uh, stale energy death so yeah letting bygones be bygones just put to rest what happened in the past just let it die fade out Scorpio energy and just let it go oh yeah all right now my rest of my deck is in reverse so I'm gonna put it up right so five of Pentacles so this is you know, feeling lonely, neglected, out in the cold, abandoned kind of energy. Seven of Swords kind of sneaking away. Um, deceit energy could be self-deceit. So I definitely feel like here they did something out of character that really made you feel hurt. And, I don't know, abandoned or neglected or lonely, left out in the cold. May have to do with something with work or finances, I don't know. But the Empress, you know, knowing your value, your worth... Um, just being in your energy, being in your energy and knowing that you didn't deserve whatever this negative energy was. But it's time just to let it go, let bygones be bygones and get out of the stagnant pause, stale energy and move forward and just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. So I do see here, uh, Aries or your person, however this resonates. If you're hesitant about accepting the offer because of something they did in the past was hurtful to you and maybe you're having a hard time get over that getting over that I see just 
I see just moving together, forward together, and peace and harmony, balance. Just let it go. Just let it, you know, accept the communication back and forth and smooth it all out. Let it go. Let it, you know, die, fade out, and you can move forward together with this person. I definitely see soulmate, divine energy here, trying to bring the two of you together. So whatever happened was meant to happen, even though it doesn't seem like it. You can vibrate at that high energy and love with this person in the future. All right, Aries, I'm going to pull some extra clarification here for your uh, situation. But if you do like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. And I do four readings a month. I do a love connection. I do one for singles. Who's coming towards you? When, where, how? What kind of connection will it be? And then I do uh, messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. And I do a general reading. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe. And if you do, thank you and you won't miss a reading. So spirit, what else do we have here for Aries in this connection for November? What else do we have for Aries in this connection for November? So we have second chakra Archangel Ariel, which is your solar plexus energy, which is 36, which is a nine. So they may be, you know, you may be lighting each other, lighting um, up each other's soul in a different way now and about each other. This is all about your soul purpose, your identity, who you are, your soul igniting. So I feel like in 36, 9 can be about, you know, wishes, dreams coming true sort of energy. So I do think there, you know, souls are igniting in a whole different way towards one another. And just listen to that. And this could be a wish fulfillment, a dream come true between the two of you energy. And then we have two here, which is journey. And then we have two, which is about people coming together, partnership, unity. So yeah, this could be, you know, definitely a journey here. The how you two both came together as awkward or strange or whatever it was here. Whatever this journey is, is a journey that's meant to be traveled between the two of you. All right, so shedding light in a whole different way on this situation. Going with the flow. Now we got the third chakra. Oh, wait a minute. This is the second chakra. So this is the sacral chakra. Sorry. This is the sacral chakra, which is basically your groin. So that's a very passionate energy. So I had felt that uh, with the Knight of Wands that came out there, that now there's like a newfound passion, desire between the two of you that may find very strange now that you're feeling this towards this person but now we have the third chakra archangel chamuel nine again so we got two nines here definitely wish fulfillment um so this is the solar plexus chakra which is about that soul identity soul purpose souls igniting on fire um to to something destined here really knowing who you are your identity what you feel like your soul's desire is being very passionate with that sacral second chakra it's quite a journey here it may be like a very strange journey <laughs> like what you know what kind of connection is this but whatever is happening is meant to happen on this journey walking away so we have nine again so yeah i'm feeling here um no you might have walked if it was a friendship you might have walked away from them, from them for a time, but now coming back together, it's like now you're seeing each other more in a romantic way than a friendship way. Or it's telling you to walk away from all that negative energy that happened in the past. If I can get the glare on it there. And uh, walk to the wish fulfillment here. Walking away from all that negative energy, just leave it in the past. So we have door to personal happiness and healing. 34, seven, seven is a very divinely guided number. So a divinely guided energy here that can lead you to your door to personal happiness and healing. Let the healing happen between the two of you. Apologies, conversations can go and lead you to the sun energy of this total fulfillment and happiness with this person. I do feel like a strong soulmate energy now we have another chakra card, six chakra archangel Metatron. It's your third eye. So this is about four is the stability and basis foundation. So the third eye there is about listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, um, 
whatever you're thinking, feeling, just trust it in this situation and let things become enlightened <coughs> in this journey. Okay, Aries, uh, if this did resonate for you, like I said, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Best of luck to you here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.